different lights for different needs. Let's check it out. Guys, light is your number one security tool, and there are so many different choices out there from this small little uh, keychain light to a large, huge spotlight that puts out a lot of lumens. And these two fit totally different roles, and there are a ton of lights in between. So we're going to take a look at a number of different style lights and where it might fit your needs, uh, whether again it's a small little pocket light or it's this huge search and rescue light. Having a good flashlight is the tool you'll use more for security than any other light. Whether it's lights on your house, whether it's your front porch light or the light inside. Uh, this is by no means any kind of comprehensive list, but it is gonna be talking about each of the different type lights and what they're specifically designed for. Now first on the list are the ones we use the most and that would be your EDC lights. Uh, whether a small little light that's a keychain light like this little Mech Army light, small little E3 EOS from Olight, a great little light, nice high lumens. But this is one of my personal favorites, the S1 Baton. It fits in the pocket, but yet it gives you a really high output. And uh, it's not that large, but yet this is really capable. And then, of course, it gets bigger and larger, you know, and then it gets to just being what fits in your pocket the best. Uh, we also have the uh, AA batteries, which really works nice. This is a AAA battery. And then you have the CR123s, which will give you more lumens out of your flashlight, gives you more power. Then we have our medium-sized lights. These lights, to me, are more for security, uh, or if you're going outside and you need just a little more light, these will really give you the light. Uh, but one thing that's important about these is the size. It's large enough to give you a self-defense capability with this. Uh, and one thing I read recently was that flashlights are used more for self-defense than any other tool. <laughs> so having a good sturdy light can come in handy. Uh, and especially when you start with the crenulated bezels. Now this is an attack bezel. It's pretty aggressive. Uh, there are smaller versions of this. And then here we have the crenulated bezel as well. Gives you just that uh, stainless steel on the end. And you can really you know, get a hold of something. If somebody grabs hold of you, or, or even if it's an animal for that matter, uh, and to get them off of you and get them away from you. Uh, even this smaller Olight, this is one that you can get a hold of and you can hit them with the bezel. But these lights can also double as a weapons light. Now here I have the Claris XT11. I have it mounted in a BCM mount and uh, right here on the, the rail of my rifle. It's a good sturdy mount and really all I've got to do is just take the push pad and hit it and I have a lot of light, a lot of capability, and the range is really good. And that's another thing about these lights. You need that longer range. The bigger your reflector is, the longer it is, usually the farther out it'll go uh, with the proper amount of lumens. You can also get a push pad attachment, just put in a different tail cap and run your wires through. But for me, I like just the push pad. I can just hit it and go. Uh, and sometimes the wires get a little tangled up. But that's up to you how you want to set up you know, your system. Uh, you can put some of the smaller lights, like the little stream light, weapons lights on here, and uh, that works fine. But I really like the distance capability of these lights, and they're just tough as nails. Again, I can take this light off. I've got my crenulated bezel. I can use this as a security light just around the house. But now for more serious type security, I like large lights, almost like spotlights. Uh, these are really high lumens. They have a long throw. They brighten up a large area. Uh, and these lights are just excellent. I mean, if you need to search for someone in the woods, they, these two especially would be the lights to have. One thing that I really like, though, about this little jet beam is uh, that you can hold it like this, but then you have a baton, and uh, it gives you a lot of capability. Uh, of course, obviously, with the Olight Intimidator, <laughs> you, you know, this is a pretty large light as well, uh, but for handling and carrying and maneuverability, I really like this size. Uh, and it does have the combat ring right here if I need to hold it, however I need to hold it. And then this X7R by Olight, uh, it puts a very diffused beam, and we're going to look at that in just a second. Uh, one of the things with this light is, and the Intimidator, is that it puts out a really long spotlight. 
So this is more diffused, it's more of a wider area, but then we have the nice spotlight to be able to get pinpoint areas. Now I don't know if you're like me, but there's nothing worse than being in a situation where you need to put your flashlight in your mouth to be able to see to work on something. Uh, it's extremely annoying, and that's one of the reasons why headlamps were invented. Headlamps are great, it's hands-free, they stay secure, you can actually tilt them into the position, uh, they're made for that and uh, you can just get it into the right spot and be able to use it. Uh, there's a lot of different choices. Petzl has been one of the main ones for years, and they're pretty reasonable. Uh, this is one of the uh, Olights here that's very reasonable as well, and uh, it's just a super inexpensive light, but yet it puts out a lot of decent light. Here we have one of the Sparks. Uh, this is a great headlamp, uh, but what I love about this one in particular is that you can remove the light itself and you've got a light right here to be able to use uh, for whatever you need to and uh, this is just a fantastic light in itself and I've used these for years and here with the little Olight H1 Nova same thing you can slip this out it has the angled head uh, and then it has the clip which you can slip this in your pocket and to be honest this makes a perfect EDC light if you like the angle head and then at the top uh, you have your uh, push button, and this is a fantastic light. In fact, I'm doing a review on this at this right now, getting ready for it. But having a headlamp, guys, especially in your bag, is just, I mean, it will, <laughs> it will relieve the stress of having that metal in your mouth and trying to, you know, maneuver, and then maybe you're trying to tell someone how to do something. And so headlamps like this are great. Now, this is one of the HS2s by Olight, and this is more of a running light. Uh, it has a battery for extended life while you're running, and uh, it's lightweight, easy to carry, uh, and yet it still has a lot of lumens. And of course, having a light on your firearm, especially your home defense firearm, uh, being able to see, being able to um, you know, brighten up areas, and again, this gives you a security point when you shine a light, and you don't have to shine it directly at them, but you still have that light capability, and then you can illuminate your target. There's a ton of different choices. Uh, of course, Olight's just started coming out with their uh, models with the Valkyries. There's a number of different ones, and of course, Surefire and Streamlight. And speaking of Streamlight, we have one of the TLR6s. Uh, if you have a subcompact like this Glock 43, uh, this will fit to the trigger guard, and it's a really secure fit. Uh, but one of the reasons why I wanted to bring this out was not only is it a light, but it's also a laser. And so if you really like lasers, it makes it easy to point. This is a great way to go. Uh, having just the laser on a light is, I mean, on a weapon is not quite as effective to me as having that light. Now, a lot of guys really don't like to have a light on their firearm because if they need to shine it on someone, they don't want to point the firearm at them. And I understand that. And because of that, we have standard lights like this M2T Warrior. Uh, you can hold it with one hand, hold it out. There's a lot of different methods to be able to holding your light. Uh, and holding your firearm so um, you know but again whether you use this mounted light or a light having a light handy especially in a self-defense situation uh, is important now i have the olight x7r uh, this is like more of a beer can light it puts out a lot of lumens but it's more diffused so i'm going to turn this on and you can see down here in this field i mean it lights up a bright huge area uh, this is just really a nice flood. You can see a lot out there. And, uh, you know, you get all the periphery on the side. So that's one of the advantages of having a big, heavy flashlight that really puts out a lot of lumens in a broad area. And now we have the Olight Intimidator. And I'm going to show you how this kind of beams straight. See the pinpoint beam? I mean, it is a spotlight, but it goes forever. And so you don't have as big of a flood around the light but you definitely have some flood, and then you have this really massive spotlight. Now we have the jet beam, and this is the BC-40. I'm not sure if they still make this one or not, but there are a lot of lights similar to this one that are long, more of a baton. As you can see, it is more of a spotlight. Uh, it does have some flood, but it's not near as bright as the Olight Intimidator. Uh, those Olight Intimidators are extremely expensive, and this is a much more reasonable uh, really, to me, you get pretty much the same effect. It's just not quite as bright. I think the, the Intimidator would be more professional or if you really wanted something super bright around your property. But this also doubles as a self-defense weapon because you can really grab hold of it. Okay, now we have the Army Tech Predator. Uh, this is kind of a medium-sized light. 
to me it would be a great one just to have around the house if you needed to check for things we're going to turn it on um, as you can see it's still a nice solid flood it's not near the lumens are not near where the earlier lights are but it definitely gives you a good spotlight now guys I'm not going to go through all the lumens of these lights I mainly want you just to think about you know what this light is and the size uh, there are a lot of comparable lights out there like this now here we have the M2T Warrior by Olight this is a pretty new flashlight with those guys it's a little more diffused not as much of a spotlight uh, but you can see that whole large area down there and uh, I really like being able to see around me and so even for this even though this is a smaller size light than the Army Tech uh, it still puts out a ton of lumens it's just not as pinpoint now here we have the XT11 by Claris I've got it on the end of my rifle uh, this rifle is unloaded but we're gonna be pointing it down into the woods anyway and so here you can see excellent spotlight and yet it has it diffuses it out very nicely you can see a wide area with this light and um, really bright I love this flashlight one thing I didn't mention is tail caps are important for tactical lights side switches are more for EDC so having a tail cap switch on your self-defense light is important if it's for tactical applications now here we have the little mech army keychain light I'm gonna just turn it on that's in the bright setting you know guys right there in front of us we get a little bit of light here but there's no real distance uh, it actually is pretty decent for this light but uh, this is definitely for up close and just personal tasks where you just need a small light here we have the Olight E3 EOS and man that's that's not bad for a small little keychain light it gives you a little more throw and uh, still brightens up this area not near as bright as some of the other lights, but definitely not bad uh, if you need just to get around and you need to double this up to see a little longer distance. Next we have the Olight SA1 Baton. This is using AA batteries and this has a side switch for EDC. Now here is the turbo setting. For a small light, guys, this is not bad. This is one of the reasons why I use these for my EDC lights. Uh, I mean they don't light near as bright as some of the tactical lights but you definitely get a lot of light for a small package now guys this is my EDC it's the S1 mini I love this little light and I'm gonna show you why <laughs> is that not crazy look at that <laughs> that is bright I mean that is a beautiful beautiful light and uh, a lot of times at night I'll come out, I'll have to go out and do, get something out of my car or whatever, and I'll shine it down in this field, and it, it just amazes me every time I do it. I mean, it is really bright up close, but you get out there and uh, still gives you a lot of light for distance. Now, again, this is a small little EDC light. doesn't have a tail switch. This does not substitute for necessarily a tactical light because you're not getting as much light on out to distance, but definitely something that uh, <laughs> is just beautiful. And guys, you can do it like this and go through your stuff and have both hands free. Or you can do it like this and you have both your hands. You actually can talk and you don't have slobber running down your, the side of your mouth. <laughs> now we're going to take a look at the H1 Nova. This is a headlamp and we're going to just go ahead and turn it on. Um, again, <laughs> very similar to the S Mini. I mean, it puts out a lot of light. And again, you have your uh, headlamp capability. So this to me makes an excellent small little EDC light. Uh, and then of course with the headlamp, it's extremely versatile. I keep one of these in my go bag at all times, along with a flashlight in my pocket. Uh, but this gives you that versatility. Uh, again, hands-free and you're not sticking the end of your flashlight in your mouth. <laughs> Uh, but then the smaller Olights and Petzels and all those are not near as bright as this. So uh, this gives you a top-end capability. Now we're going to look at the PL2 Valkyrie. Uh, and this is a weapons light. It's on a uh, Walther uh, Q4 tack. We're going to shine this light. Guys, that is a beautiful, beautiful light. Uh, I believe it's 1200 lumens, which is fantastic for a weapons light. And uh, very capable and you can really brighten up your area this way the sights actually silhouette 
uh, in the light. And that's one of the key things about these lights. You can actually see your sights and be able to hit your target. Next we have the Streamlight TLR6 with the laser. A little bit warmer light, definitely not near as bright, uh, but it's smaller. But you can see that laser. I mean, that is fantastic. And it just reaches right on out there. Uh, I think right there where the, we're seeing the laser is about, about 100 yards out there. So it's not bad. Uh, not near as bright as the PL2, but, um, and there are other choices. There are definitely some bright lights out there. But again, uh, you can see your sights, but with the laser, if you've got it lined up and sighted in, uh, you know, just wherever that laser is pointing is where you should be hitting. Now guys, these lights are just samples. It's just really to kind of give you some ideas about different lights, not necessarily brands or styles or whatever, just to kind of figure out what is the best for your setup. Uh, and to me, having a really large light like this uh, is excellent. It's able to you know, get out there and illuminate a giant area. Uh, having your small little EDC lights are great for being able to see small things. Uh, and then your weapons lights, you know, I mean, there's just a lot of different things and of course with your headlamps. But this is just to kind of give you a good idea. Now guys, regardless of what type of light you buy, buy good quality. Uh, there's a ton of different choices out there. Pay a little bit more. Uh, buying the $3 light at Walmart is going to give you a $3 light at Walmart. Big thing is, is when the chips are down, you need to be able to illuminate. You need to be able to depend on it. And so whatever brand, there's a ton of different brands out there that are just excellent. But again, light is your number one security tool, and it's really important to have good, strong light that you can have confidence in and to choose the lights that serve you best. So having different lights for different purposes can really serve you well, uh, whether it's just an everyday task or a grid down situation where light is critical. And if you're serious about being prepared, check out the Survival Dispatch Insider. And I'm uploading an exclusive video every week on Survival Dispatch Insider that will not be shown on the Sensible Prepper channel. Uh, so check it out. I think you'll find that it's well worth it. I'll have a link down below in the description. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. You strap it onto your head. I mean, it's man, we can have a dance party with this baby. Of course, having a and for your home defense gun, um, having and for you and for a self defense. And in the dead of night, love bites.